Hey everybody, Josh from Silka here with a super exciting announcement uh, to make. Those of you who listen to our podcast know this is coming. Uh, you know we've been working on this since well before the Olympics uh, and that we had about half a dozen, maybe a few more athletes at the Olympics actually using this uh, exciting new product. And that product is titanium mountain bike cleats. Uh, these are incredibly exciting, if you ask me. Uh, 3D printed. Harden 6.4 titanium uh, at four grams per cubic centimeter density. Uh, we're talking almost half the density of brass, uh, which is used to make the traditional cleat. It is still not quite as hard as the steel used in the pedal. So the cleat is the uh, wearing item in the uh, cleat pedal assembly. But because we're 3D printing them, we can also print them hollow with a cool little infill uh, called a gyroid. You can see uh, this image of it here. It's pretty amazing. All said and done, these are more than two times the strength of stock cleats uh, at right at around half the weight, but maybe most exciting, they are somewhere between three and four times the life expectancy because the titanium is so much harder wearing uh, than the brass is. It's almost three times harder of a material. So while we're a little bit more expensive, uh, you're talking three times the life, half the weight. Um, it's just a beautiful little part. You can see the little gyroid on the back. These come in standard uh, Shimano SPD, my personal favorite, uh, but we also have a 10 degree time attack. Uh, and we've done our attack cleat, unlike the stock one, we've done it slotted. So you have a little bit of that lateral play, which you don't have with the off the shelf cleat. And then also uh, Crank Brothers, uh, the standard release cleat. Along with 3D printing these to save you even more weight, uh, you end up saving around 25 to 30 grams per set of cleats with hardware because as you can see here, we're also doing the hardware in 6.4 titanium. Uh, and we're doing that with a T25 Torx. Uh, I think anyone who's dealt with a lot of shoe cleat uh, interface issues uh, moving cleats swapping cleats know just the pain in the butt of that four millimeter hex down there uh, and how easily damaged it is so t25 on that um, yeah not a whole lot else to say uh, half the weight three times the life expectancy um, beautiful you're gonna love these check them out